This little lantern is one of the most innovative lights I've seen yet come to market. So let's talk about it. This is one really slick light. And when I say innovation, um, Claymore always brings their game to these lights. They are built robust and heavy duty. So let's get right into it. It's got a removable shade here at the top. This just sits on the top like this. Uh, we'll take a quick walk around. It's got a carry handle here at the top. It's got your mode button. You can push this to turn it on and spin this dial in order to dim it up or down and then adjust the brightness. The very top, it has a battery status indicator. It's four little dots, I'll illuminate it there. And then um, those right there are your charging indicator also. And that will also, uh, when you're charging, they'll blink. So on the side, you've got kind of a cage design. You've got four pieces of metal that come down. This is a plastic core center. And then there's an inner plastic tube in the center that illuminates. At the top of the head here, you've got a row of LEDs. At the bottom here, we have a quarter 20 to screw onto a tripod. And all the legs kind of bend over and attach here at the bottom right to where that 20 quarter thread are. On the side here, this is your charging port. And we take that off. We can see we've got a USB-C and we have a USB for charging phones. 6,700 milliamp battery inside there. The light has four modes and an infinite amount of adjustability for the um, brightness. Claymore did send this out to me for review but that has not changed my opinion one bit on how I review products. So with that said, what makes this innovative? Well, looks like your standard lantern, more contemporary in this design. If you go and put this top on, it's definitely more traditional looking. Um, I like the ability that it can screw on to a tripod. So you can illuminate your area real well. But what makes this innovative is how they set up the user interface for interacting with the light. So let's talk about the light modes. And I'm gonna have the box here because it kind of gives me a cheat guide of the different light modes. So the first one here is called Breeze. So we push the center button that illuminates the light and the center tube illuminates. And this is just kind of your flickering like a candle. So the light kind of goes up and down and has a little bit different feel to it. This is called Breeze mode. Um, very, very nice, very orangish light, um, almost to the red tone. If I push it again, I've got what they call sunset. So the sunset is more of a dark orange and almost to the point of red, but it's, it's very dark orange. It's supposed to simulate the mood of a sunset. The next one they call full moon. This is going to be a little more whiter tone added to the center. And the last one is going to be sunrise. Sunrise is gonna be bright. That's gonna be your cooking, your taking care of camp light. That's going to be the light you play cards around. Um, full brightness. So how do you adjust the brightnesses? Well, they've got this knob here on top and all you have to do is spin the knob one way or the other. So no buttons, no double push, single push. Push this three times, push this four times interfaces. Simple, push the button, turn the mode on, brighten the light up. It blinks, you're at the top of the brightness, brighten the, or dim the light, it blinks, you're off. Very, very simple user interface. This is what I love. This is, this is a step in the right direction. A lot of light manufacturers now are push this three times and push this two times and hold this in to dim up and hold this again to brighten up. You never can remember where you're at, especially when you have multiple lights. Um, but very, very innovative. I really like that interface. Um, I've had good luck with the battery. They're saying anywhere from six hours to 55 hours, depending on your brightness, which mode you have it in. Uh, I haven't noticed a whole lot of difference with having this on as far as the brightness in your eyes. I think this is just more of a look than anything. It does deflect a little bit of the light downward, but not a whole lot. I personally probably gonna carry it more like this um, just because I don't wanna have to carry this extra piece around I just don't see really a need for it. So whether you look at that as a con or a pro, that's up to you. So pros, it has four lighting modes, huge pro, 
easy to use interface, adjusting it up or down, easy push button to turn on the different modes and to cycle through them, which is a huge pro. Got the battery bank built in, which is a huge pro. USB-C charging, way to go Claymore. USB-C is everything nowadays. It's got the nice shield, uh, heavy duty cage, and it's a IP54 rating. So the IP54 rating, you're gonna get some dust protection, not complete dust, but you're gonna get pretty good dust protection. And water, if you have this sitting out of rain, it should be fine. You're not gonna want it out in heavy rain, but a, a light rain would be acceptable. I did contact him on that. So it charges fairly quickly. Um, I haven't had any issues with charging it yet. And it's, it's just a very well done, well constructed light. No creaking, groaning. The only thing I did notice, like I said, I got one con about this light would be when you add this deflector, it doesn't snap on or lock on. Um, there's no twist on, none of them like that. So if I move it around, you can hear it kind of shakes a little bit. Now, who's shaking their light when it's sitting next to them? Nobody. So you could take this along and you could either utilize it or not utilize it. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you got something out of this video. Um, this is the Celine lamp from Claymore. If you guys got any comments or questions on this light, put it down below and like I always say get out and do some more camping